Did you know that an entire country became Muslim because of one man's good manners? You see, in the late 500s, the Persians fought a 30-year war with the Romans, and one of the Persian generals by the name of Bahram Chobin would become a national hero during this time for his incredible military victories. And even though he was a nobleman from one of the great families of Persia, the Persian king was a paranoid man, and he fired anyone who was getting too popular, including Bahram. So Bahram retaliated by starting a rebellion to overthrow the king, and he managed to take the capital city but ultimately his rebellion was defeated and he was forced to flee to Central Asia where the Turks there received him well. But the Persian assassins followed him and eventually he was killed. And by the way, all of this was happening during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, but in the years before he was given revelation. Anyway, Bahram's children would stay in Central Asia until the time of his great-great-grandson, Saman Khuda, who was born in a village in Afghanistan in the early 700s. By then, the Muslims had defeated the Persians and had expanded the Caliphate well into Central Asia and were even on the border of China. The Central Asian province provinces were ruled by a governor named Ashad ibn Abdullah al-Qasri. He played a crucial role in bringing Islam to Central Asia through his governance and military victories against invaders. And one man in particular who he brought to Islam would end up being the reason for an entire empire to become Muslim. When Saman Khuda, the descendant of that famous Persian general from before, met Asad al-Qasri, he was so impressed with his piety and good character that he eventually left his old religion of Zoroastrianism and converted to Islam. He was the first in his lineage to become a Muslim and he began a new dynasty known as the Samanids. He even named his own son Asad after the pious governor and eventually all of his grandsons would all become governors under the Islamic Caliphate. And then there was Ismail. Ismail Samani was the great grandson of Saman Khuda and he began the Samanid Empire in Bukhara and expanded it in all directions. And while the Caliph did not initially recognize him as a ruler, he often requested his help in fighting an enemy and even praised him and made dua for him in the letters that they exchanged. And later on they settled their differences and the Caliph recognized Ismail as the legitimate ruler in the east, allowing him to rule independently. Eventually Ismail lay sick on his deathbed in 907 and when he died he didn't have a single penny to his name. He had given everything he had in sadaqah. Till this day he's known as one of the great military generals in Islam and the Tajiks of Tajikistan consider him the nation's father, naming many things after after him and even having his image on their money. It's amazing how something so little like one man's piety and good manners can have such an incredible impact on the Muslim Ummah. Like and follow for more Muslim Facts.